Welcome to SCTV News. This is Nuri Alamin with the headlines. Bangladesh votes in favor of UN resolution. Government cannot take responsibility of all parties' participation in election, says Sharia Alam. Army to serve with professional efficiency, dutifulness and integrity. Bangladesh to reach desired goal by overcoming disasters, says Prime Minister. Given the five by polls cannot be held as a standard for evaluating all elections in the country, says CEC Habibul Awal. Bangladesh voted in favor of the UN resolution titled Territorial Integrity of Ukraine, defending the principles of the UN Charter at the 11th Emergency Special Session of the UNGA on the Russia-Ukraine War. On the 193 member of the General Assembly, 143 countries voted in favor of a resolution that also reaffirmed the sovereignty, independence, unity and territorial integrity of Ukraine within its internationally recognized borders. A total number of 35 nations, including China, South Africa and Pakistan, reaffirmed from the voting on Wednesday. Meanwhile, India reaffirmed on the voting on the even General Assembly resolution denouncing the recent annexation of the four Ukrainian regions by Russia, describing the decision as the well thought out of the national position. State Minister for Foreign Affairs uh, Mohammad Sharir Alam said the government cannot take responsibility if any political party doesn't take part in the upcoming election but expect that the polls will be held in a free and fair manner. He also said that he conveyed the same this to the U.S. Deputy Secretary Wendy Sherman during his recent meeting in the USA. The State Minister also added he also briefed Wendy Sherman about the Election Commission formation search committee and president's dialogue in which some political parties didn't take part. He made the comment while speaking the reporters at a briefing of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Dhaka this afternoon. Responding to the question, Sharia said that elections were acceptable in the past and upcoming elections would also be accepted. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina asked the Bangladesh Army to serve the country with professional efficiency, dutifulness and integrity by remaining loyal to the leadership as well as being the imbued with the spirit of the liberation war and ideals of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. She made the call while addressing the national flag giving ceremony of the headquarters 71 Merchandise Brigade 15 and 40 East Bengal 9 and 11 Bangladesh Infantry Regiment held at CMP Center and the school in the Savar Cantonment this morning. She joined event virtually from the Ganubhavan official residence in Dhaka. The Prime Minister said that the more martinized uh, brigade and the mechanized battalion would be established in the military. She hoped adding more uh, martinized units will bring a new dimension in further strengthening the military's capability in handling the national security. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said that Bangladesh would be able to reach its desired goal by overcoming all natural and uh, man-made disaster. She also said that Bangladesh attained a position at the world as the disaster-resilient country and the country would be able to face disaster but have to continue to maintain it. The Prime Minister made the comment at the program on the city's Usmani Memorial Auditorium to observe the International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction 2022. She joined the event virtually from official residence at Ganovavom. Focusing the government's successes and measures over the disaster management, she said no can undermine the Bengali nation anymore. Chief Election Commissioner CEC Habibul Awal said that given the five by polls cannot be held as a standard for evaluating all elections in the country. He made the statement during a press briefing today following the catastrophic outcome at the Gaibanda 5 elections today when asked how the election commission would handle a large-scale election considering how the Gaibanda polls turned out. The CC said that the commission would take action according to the situation at hand. At the same time, he also said that the people should not evaluate all elections based on one election. The by poll in the Gaibanda 5 constituency was suspended after a slew of the rampant 
irregularities, including the voters being forced to cast a vote for contain the candidates and disconnected CCTV cameras. Additional Director General of the Directorate General of Health Services, DGHS, Professor Amidul Kobi said, about 64% of the critically ill Tengu patients passed away this year, barely within three days of the hospitalization. He came up with the information at the press briefing held at the DGHS office in Taka today. The DGHS DG also said the death rate has been higher among women with 46 female patients dying this year. Of them, 18 are north, 9 from Dhaka, south, and 48 outside the Dhaka. After capital Dhaka, Cox's Bajar has the highest number of the dengue cases. He asserted that the reason behind the fatality rate within 48 hours of arriving is so high because the main delays seeking his part help after getting sick. The Bangladesh Energy Regulatory Commission, BERC, rejected the Power Department Board proposal to increase the price of the bulk electricity. BERC Chairman Mohammad Abdul Jalil said that the bulk electricity tariff remains unchanged as Bangladesh Power Development Board, BPTV, failed to provide the necessary data in favor of the tariff adjustment proposal. He also said that BPTV couldn't provide the Commission with a clear way how to avoid the inevitable effect by the bulk tariff adjustment on distribution and consumer level. The BERC chairman said BPDV can apply before the BERC with 30 working days from the tariff order announcement to reconsider the order. We were still taking a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back and you are watching SCTV News. Now news from abroad. Ukraine's NATO late allies announced deliveries of the advanced air defense weapon to Kiev after a step of the Russian missile strikes. The weaponry promised by UK, Canada, France and the Netherlands include missiles and radars. The US earlier made a similar place. One high-tech system from the Germany is already in Ukraine. The pledges come as Ukraine allies from the 50 countries meet at NATO headquarters in the Brussels. It has also been particularly intense week in the Ukraine. It saw some of its heaviest Russian bombardment in month when more than 100 missiles were launched. Meanwhile, Moscow's strike on the civilian target in Ukraine continued today, including a drone attack in the Kiev region and shelling of the residential building in the southern city of the Mykolaiv. Flood warnings were issued, hundreds of homes were evacuated, thousands more lost power and the main was missing and heavy rain last southeast Australian today. Rivers across Australian most populous state, New South Wales and Victoria and the island state of the Tasmania were rising dangerously. Around 250 homes in the New South Wales city of the Forbes were ordered to be evacuated by tonight ahead to major flooding. The state emergency served issued an order by the 17 states including the central down part of the Brenigt to be evacuated by the 8 at night. State Emergency Management Commissioner Andrew Crisp said the heavy rain would reach metropolitan Melbourne and Sydney today at the later hours. India's Supreme Court failed to deliver a verdict on the whether Muslim students can wear a hijab in schools and colleges, with two judges expressing opposing the views today. One judge upheld a Karnakata and High Court order from the March said that the hijab was not essential to Islam. The other said that the High Court order was onerous and wearing the hijab was a matter of choice. The verdict was expected to cap the 10-month polarizing debate in India. But Thursday's development means the debate over the hijab will continue to consume the Indian public and the judiciary as the judges could not agree on the decision. They have now requested the Chief Justice of the India to recommend it to a larger bench.
Taiwan reopened to tourists and Maisel and after lifting some of the world's longest lasting pandemic border control, visitors began arriving on the line today without the need for the quarantine for the PCR test for the first time in more than two and a half years. Taiwanese officials welcome to the first group, the visitors arriving one on the flight from the Bangkok shortly after midnight at the island main international airport near the Taipei. Tourism Bureau Director General Chang Si Chung told the reporters that the island reopening was a chance to bring back to life and rebuild cross-border tourism. Taiwan is the last major economy to lift COVID-19 quarantine apart from the mainland China. Chasing a target of 174, Mohammad Rizwan and Babur Azam hit 50s as Pakistan beat Bangladesh by seven wickets today. Bangladesh put on their best batting performance on the ongoing tri national series in their final outing against Pakistan in Chris Charles. Thanks to some outstanding batting from Litan Dash and Saqib Al Hassan, but Babur Azam and Mohammad Rizwan and the Mohammad Nawaz helped Pakistan chase 174 in one bowl to spare. Bangladesh finished the tournament without a single win. On the other hand, it was Pakistan's third win in the tournament. They will take on New Zealand in the final on Friday. The Babur Azam led teams the previous March on the Tuesday against New Zealand, Finn Alem and Devon Conway hit 62 and 49 respectively as the Kuiz won in by nine wickets. Before ending, we go through the SCTV News headlines again. Bangladesh votes in favor of even resolution. Government cannot take responsibility of all parties' participation in election, says Sharia Alon. Army to serve with professional efficiency, dutifulness and integrity. Bangladesh to reach desired goal by overcoming disasters, says Prime Minister. Given the five by polls cannot held as a standard for evaluating all elections in the country, says CEC Habibul Awal. You are up to date with our top stories so far here on SCTV and to know the latest news, visit www.sctv.tv. Stay with SCTV.